Oh no. So wait, maybe he is broken. So, cause from what I understood, I thought we had to tell him that the big guy was dead. And then since the big guy was dead, he was like, okay, now I'll go check on my daughter. At least I thought that's how it worked, but maybe not. Time to start a new run? Hopefully not. If we go over to here and the dude is like super pissed that his daughter died, then we're fine. But if we go over here and there's no one there, then I think we may have broken him. Damn it. So we broke him. So, so just to be clear, this is wrong. This character is absolutely breakable. Because it says right here, find them at arena spot. Nope. Hmm. Now I wonder if this is going to happen. Where, where is this? Isn't this like up the left side of the map? I actually need to science this. He will still invade you? Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the vengeance shack is like over, it's like over here somewhere, right? Isn't like you go up the side of here and it's somewhere over here? That's, okay, cool. Uh, try resting and go to her spot. I, I don't think it's a rest thing. I don't think it's a rest thing. Yeah. Because again, we did we did her quest all weird and out of order. Unfortunately, I, I did too much side farming before I did uh, Godric. And that may have caused a problem. Let's go see. Let's, let's go science this right now. Because I'm actually very curious about this. I'm, I want to see if, if this is going to work. Does anyone know if Ko's going to watch the state of play? I'd like to, but unfortunately the timing's uh, a little weird today. Uh, the state of play is at 6 p.m., and that is unfortunately right when I'm starting bedtime for my three children, so... Yeah. Don't think it's going to work. Uh, what we're going to do is, if the state of play is good, which I hope it is, uh, we'll watch it first thing tomorrow. So if the state of play is great and worth watching, then we'll watch it first thing tomorrow, and it'll be awesome. Uh, if the state of play sucks, and it turns out it's just a bunch of marketing BS and no real any good announcements, then we'll just... Figure that out in the morning and start playing Elden Ring. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. I will say, I don't know what to think about it. With Sony, like, announcing it and running it so quickly. Um, that was a little weird. I, I gotta say that a part of me goes, they must not have anything to talk about by doing it this way. Like, they didn't hype it up at all. So... So it, it, is it going to be like, we, we haven't had a hyped Sony conference since E3. And arguably, that was the last time we had a hyped Sony conference. Um, recently, they've stopped doing any type of hyping. And to put it bluntly, recently their conferences have kind of been terrible. So, like, I, I, wonder, I wonder if that's just what we're doing now. <laughs> like, I wonder if that's just... I wonder if they're no longer trying to do like big announcement reveal things and it's more of just like, you know, PR investor stuff. Which is important. But yeah, who knows? We'll see. I hope there's some big announcements. Apparently there's 14 games in 30 minutes. So that's cool. Get out of here. No, I want nothing to do with these. Um. Okay. They're going to announce the re-re-remake of RE2. Oh, God. Uh, find Edgar 
Wait, what? Poe is going to find Edgar, right? Simple Nutcracker says, I don't get it. In the new future, will Poe join OTK? I don't plan on joining any teams. I'm not really a team player. I don't I don't really work well with others. So I don't I don't think I'll be joining really any. Never really how I function. Yeah. I don't like being told what to do, and frankly, I don't really like telling people what to do either. Life's too short for that. Mm -hmm. Poe is a loner? I am. I've kind of been. No, I'm, I'm working with some of the OTK guys on Mad Mushroom. I'm a, I'm a co-owner of, of Mad Mushroom Publishing, which is which they created. But that's you know that's a, that's a different thing. That's game dev. That's not really. It's barely even related to streaming, to be honest. <laughs> Vow of the Indomitable. Okay, that sounds cool. What's that? It sounds super defensey. Poise increase? Okay. That could be cool. This is going somewhere else. This is not the way. This is the way to that Albinuric village. No. Yes? There's a quest lady up there. There's a quest lady up there. That is, oh, that is the Albinuric village. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. Why do I have battle music? Okay. A little weird. Um, that provides a sacred affinity which adds holy damage and faith scaling, decreases physical damage, and decreases most damage negation. Oh. You already got this, right? Yeah. So I think we need to go more north. Guys, an Erosier cosplay. I like it. Uh, let's go here real quick and just talk to Nefli. I thought we talked to her completely. But let's just double check. What kind of build am I going for? Uh, vigor, strength, faith. The Coladin. Oh, my girl's gone. Uh, is that good or bad? He's downstairs. Oh, no, we haven't done any of Fia's stuff. I think we've we've laid with Fia one time this run, and that's about it. So my girl isn't here. Nephilim moves from the round table to that village. I miss a step. Oh, no, no, we're right here. We're right here. Yeah, okay. Oh, we do got to talk to Gideon, though. Let's go, let's go exhaust his dialogue real quick while we're here. Oh. Do I have to talk to the two fingers first? Ah, here we go. Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya, the finger reader. 
I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shardbear. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring, root of the Golden Order, anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act, brave tarnished. Your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind. To become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Whose fingers are those? Who owns those fingers? Besides chat. Because like if there were a pair of fingers was made for each of the, the, the children, right? So whose are those? The greater will. Okay. So these like don't no one knows. Okay. Aliens. The answer is aliens. Well, <clears throat> right. well I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnish. You are here to take, are you not? Ha! Huh. Receive power? No. About great runes. Ah. Great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Interesting. Listen. Okay. The fingers speak. Who listen? The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished. Show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation. The runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. You want to hear something awesome? You know what my theory is? My theory is that the two fingers aren't actually anything. My theory is that the two fingers aren't even related to any of this. And that the actual people controlling and running this world... 
are them. And they're using the two fingers and they've made this whole thing and they're the ones in control. They're the government. Because they're the only ones that can read the true fingers, so they just tell everyone whatever they want. You think that's too simple? I think they could make that cool. I think it's a simple concept that in a, in a game like Elden Ring that they could very easily make that cool. <laughs> Who's they? The devs. Like, I, It's a simple concept for sure, but nothing is simple in Dark Souls games. Even simple things take on completely different <laughs> different forms and meanings in uh, in this game. Oh, that's a, good. Yeah. No, code. that's not too simple. It's too real. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Um, I think... Now, do we need to rest for Gideon? Oh, can I talk to the fingers? Hmm. Worth. All right, now we check Gideon. We're gonna exhaust him, and then we're gonna go see if Nephili just real quick is over at the, uh, the village. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? Okay. So we recently did all of this through our last playthrough, but I know a lot of you guys are probably watching just this run. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and do all this dialogue so you guys get all this juicy lore too. So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's Northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. Dave, thanks for getting something off our store, buddy. Also, fantastic diving. Radan. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds to Limgrave's East. And now Caelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Caelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. That's messed up, man. That's messed up. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the volcano manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Okay. 
Morgoth. Morgoth the Grace-given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there, until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. Hmm. 